Dick Van Dyke Show. Starring Dick Van Dyke. Rosemary, Maury Amsterdam, Larry Matthews, and Mary Tyler Moore. Boys, floats, sinkers, tackle. Ooh, better roll that up. Hey, Rob, my car's all packed. I'll give you a hand with yours. Oh, I haven't got my sleeping bag rolled up yet. Oh, I'll give you a hand. <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. What's the difference? We're roughing it, aren't we? Yeah. Come on, hurry up before the fish die from hunger. <laughs> Darling, here's uh, Richie's worms. Oh. Don't let him play with them on the way up, huh? How does he play with worms? He tries to tie them all together and make one long one. <laughs> Gee, honey, I wish you were going with me. Yeah, you too. But, you know, I think if I had the choice, I'd rather stay home with this cold and bait a fish hook with a live worm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you know where my fuzzy yellow lures are? Gee, I don't know, darling. Uh, look in the bedroom. Well, the kids are in the car, and here's Herschel. <laughs> if he finishes his cuddle bone, there's more in here with his toys. Okay. You don't mind taking care of him, do you? Mine? No, it'll be great to have someone to talk to. <laughs> oh, he talks. Say hi to Mrs. Petrie, Herschel. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Oh. <laughs> that dumb Jerry and his dentist talk. <laughs> Billy, will you hurry up? He's so impatient. I hope he sits on his fish hook. Oh. <laughs> bye. Bye. Bye, Herschel. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Oh, where'd you find him? In, with my cufflinks. Oh. <laughs> Listen, darling, make sure Richie gets to row the boat, huh? Otherwise, he gets nauseous. Okay. What are you doing? Sticking all my fish hooks in my hat. That's the way experienced fishermen carry them. <laughs> oh. Ah! <laughs> oh. I think I found a new cure for dandruff. You stab it. You sure you're going to be all right? Maybe I ought to go along. Honey, the doctor said that mountain air will make your cold worse. Rob, I got the motor running. Come on. Oh, I hate to leave you alone, oh, honey. Oh, don't worry about me, Rob. I'll be fine. I got tons of sewing to keep yeah. me busy. Well, look, you know, lock the windows and doors and all that junk. Rob, I'm a big girl. Yeah, boy, I know that. <laughs> Bye. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Catch a lot of fish. Okay, off the mountains. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Come on, Bob. Hey, Billy, where are you going? Oh, I just get one and I lose the other. I forgot to give you something. A fountain pen? Well, it's not really a pen. It's a burglar beeper. A what? You know, a burglar beeper. If somebody breaks in and tries to bash you in the head, you pull the top off and the siren starts. It's keen, huh? Well, yeah, but I don't think I'll have to use it. Oh, listen, haven't you been reading the papers? There's a lot of craziness around. Oh, thanks, Millie. I really needed that. Listen, and you ought to stack some tin cans in front of the door so in case a burglar breaks in, you'll hear him. Millie! Okay, Millie, if you're not here in one second, I'm getting the axe out of the trunk. <laughs> listen, for goodness sake, don't take a shower. Why? Oh, listen, didn't you see that Alfred Hitchcock picture? <laughs> the wood swelling. Yeah, Hirsch, how come it only swells when you're alone, huh? What am I doing, talking to a bird? Craziest thing I... Oh, it's a cat. Sure, it's a cat. That's... Meow! Ah! 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 Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Well, you're the one. Hello? 
Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh, I hate it when it does that. It's like that movie where the lady gets murdered. No, it isn't. It's nothing like that at all. <laughs> Don't you say hello anymore, honey? Well, I didn't, I didn't know it was you, darling. That's, uh, did you call a few minutes ago? No, why? Well, nothing. Uh, it was uh, probably wrong number. Where are you? Well, we stopped for gas and for the kids. Oh. Uh, honey, I, uh, I forgot to give you the number of the cabin in, in case you wanted anything. Oh, how's Richie? He broke his pole. Well, I told him to keep it in the car. Well, he did. I sat on it. Oh. Well, I, I can fix it. Is, uh, is Sal there yet? No, no, she called. She's got the flu, so she's not going to come over. Honey, look, if you're scared, I no, can right Rob, back. No, Rob, I'm not scared. I'm just fine. So, honey, take this number down anyway, huh? Okay. <laughs> What was that? Uh, it was uh, Millie's beeper, dear. What's what's uh, Millie's beeper? Just ask Jerry. Uh, what's the number? Nine. Nine. Go ahead. That's it. Nine is it? Well, yeah, Apple City Nine. It's a small town, honey. Oh. Look, Millie told me. Ow! <laughs> Sell my hat. <laughs> Yeah, I'd, my wallet got most of it. Rob, I worry about you all alone up there with that hat. No, I ain't taking care of myself. I just want to make sure you're all right, honey. Oh, I'm, I'm just fine, darling. Okay, I'll call you tomorrow night. Okay. Okay, sweetheart. Bye. I love you. I love you. Hey, wait, wait a minute. M Millie said, uh, uh, stack the cans, whatever that means. Well, you uh, just tell Millie she's a nut. Oh, well, that wouldn't be nice. I'll have Jerry do it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. had some milk and chocolate cake. Oh, uh... My mom does that when she's home alone, too. You said I was alone. You did when you called for the delivery. Oh, oh, yes, that's right, I did. I don't blame you for being edgy, Mrs. Petrie. What happened there? Oh, uh, well, I just, uh, spilled some juice. Looks like blood. Good night, Mrs. Petrie. Good night, Arnie. <laughs> Just ridiculous. I'm going to take a nice hot shower and then I'm going to bed. Well, maybe I'll just go to bed. <laughs> I'm going to take a nice hot shower and go to bed, and that's all there is to it. I don't want to leave you alone, Herschel. Poor baby, I know how scared you get. <laughs>
someone were here with me. Well, someone's here with you, and she's worried. What kind of noise? <laughs> well, like, uh, wood creaking, and, uh, cat scratching, and then once the phone rang, and there was nobody on the other line. Oh, sorry, wrong number. Did you see that picture? Yes, I did, that's what's been frightening me. Oh, listen. So I hope you're planning to spend the night. Oh, that's my original plan. I never sleep in my house alone. Good. Here, you can wear this. Oh, listen, don't you have something a little less, uh, you know, I mean, uh, in case we gotta go running into the streets, I don't wanna look too sexy. <laughs> Here, I'll wear this. Those are robs. Yeah, well, I don't mind looking cute. <laughs> Whatever that was, it was inside. I think it was a door opening. Oh, Laura, there's a burglar in the house. What are we going to do? Be perfectly quiet and pretend you're asleep. Maybe he'll just take what he wants and go. Wide open. 
Thank goodness. Now at least we know it's just my dumbness. Unless. Unless what? Unless somebody came in while it was open and they're still here. Ma, uh, no, no, Millie. If I'm going to do any thinking, I'm going to think that they may, may have been here, but then when the door opened, they left, okay? Gotcha. Good. Why didn't they close the door? <laughs> Millie, I am going to quit worrying. I'm going to quit imagining things, and I'm going to just calm down and go to sleep. Okay, me too. I'm not going to think any more about burglars, Monsters, her murderers, or maniacs. I'm gonna stack the cake. I'm gonna help you. <laughs> Boy, that's 11 in a row. You broke your own record. Boy, my neck. Those allergy pills won't help, huh? I can't stop sneezing long enough to take with her. <laughs> well, they wouldn't do anything against this onslaught anyway. <sighs> Maybe that's it. Hello? Still busy, operator? Who could Laura be talking to this side of the morning? Operator, would you try that number again, see if, if it's uh, out of order? It's, new, it's a new Rochelle. Yeah, well, number is six... Six, three, nine. <laughs> nine, nine, seven, oh. <laughs> you tell her. Hello, operator. Uh, this is Dr. Jerome Helper. I'm a friend of the colleague. Oh, uh, would you try that number? Oh, she already, she's trying the number. What? Oh, I see. Okay, thanks anyway. It's definitely busy. Well, I better get started then. Yeah, I guess so. Look, <clears throat> Jerry, would you... Keep trying and tell him I'm coming, will you? If I walk in under an announcer, I'm liable to get scared. Yeah, you're right. And take care of Rich, will you? Right. Hey, listen, what am I going to tell Rich? When he wakes up, he finds out you're gone. Oh, gosh, I forgot. Well, listen, tell him in the morning, take his vitamins, and if he wants to go fishing, untie the worms. Gotcha. <laughs> disposal. Do you want to hear those footsteps again? I didn't hear them in the first place. Well, you're lucky. I did. Walking all around the house with big convict shoes. <laughs> Can we at least turn off the television? Well, let's turn the sound down and leave the picture on. Mrs. Miniver had such strength. <laughs> well, let me measure something else. Boy, are you lucky. My father was a tailor. Seven dresses and two skirts. Are you getting tired? Yeah, I can't even see the lines on the tape. You want to go to sleep? Do you? No. I'll press something. Anything's better than sleeping. You want some coffee? Oh, I'd love some. And I need some. Leave the door open. Millie, I'm right here. Let's keep talking, okay? What? I said let's keep talking, okay? Okay. What are you doing now? I'm making the coffee. Okay. <laughs> Laura, would you fix me a piece of toast? Okay. Okay. <laughs> now what are you doing? I'm making the toast. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> Laura? Okay. No, no. Nobody's going to...
going to get us from behind any bushes. How do you know? Because he's in the house. Good. Let's go. How do you get this door open? With a button. in here? No. Then I've heard it's just the fish hooks. Oh. just a kite on the roof. Oh, I know it's a kite. I know it's stuck in the tree and it's banging on the roof. And I want to sleep with you guys. <laughs> well, you can't sleep on the floor. Well, I can't sleep alone. Okay. Hop in. <laughs> Is it all right, Ralph? <laughs> all right. Just don't get used to it. 